Hi guys and happy Sunday. Today is August, oh I think it's probably the 8th and it's about 7.30 at night. It has been a busy weekend here in the Chicagoland area for me. So we had a Boy Scout mirror badge uh, weekend. My son eagled out like four years ago, but I am on the committee. I'm on the registration team here in Bolingbrook for our Pathways to Eagle. So we spent Friday night and Saturday doing the merit badges and registering and all that. And then today we finished moving my mother-in-law into assisted living facility. So I came home from that thinking I'm going to do my video, but then the storms came through and I think we have a slight break in the storm. So it's lightning, thunder, all that good stuff. So I thought really quickly, let me get through this. So um, this is the card we're going to be making. So I hope to get it all through, but I may just show you a bunch of the strips and then tell you about the rest, depending on how the thunder and lightning goes. But this is using the Holly Jolly Wishes. Now this is from the July to December catalog, which actually went live August 3rd. And then we're also using from the together bundle we're using what are they called knit sweater dies so there's nine of them so here's the other seven that I didn't use on this card but today we're going to be using two of them uh, go figure snowflakes snowflakes looking you know me me and my snowflakes all right so what we're going to do is I've already cut some of the strips out but we're going to cut the other three just so you could see how it looks and I might have just lost my th oh there's my other strip you know how I lose things so um as you can see on some of the dies when there's strips all right on the back what makes um how long and it'll rub off you know as it goes through the stamp and cut emboss machine but to make a border for this one I do three fourths so that it turns out like that and then on this one I do seven eighths so I've already cut out two of these. So then, and this is Calypso Coral. This is Flirty Flamingo. And then this is Leftover. I don't know if this was the Reinkers or if this was the Saran Wrap Technique. Um, but anyway, just a piece of basic white that, and it was probably Whisper White at the time, that I did with one of the techniques. I think it was the saran wrap one with re-inkers, but I'm not positive. I'll have to get back to you on that. And then, of course, I have all the little extra pieces left that you can throw in as confetti if you want to really upset someone when they open their card. Let's see, what else do I need to tell you? This ribbon is from the August to December mini. Let me grab that because I can show you the inside of it now. It is so gorgeous. So instead of trying to find the page done, I'm just going to go back to the, oh, this one's not, oh, yes, it is right there. The white glittered organdy ribbon. Isn't that so cool? Now I'm going to bring it up so hopefully you can see that shimmer. Can you see that? It's such a pretty ribbon. And I just did a little half knot with a blue dot underneath there. Okay. And, oh my gosh, I use this punch. Is this the tailored tag? I don't know punch names, people. I have two. I barely remember my two kids' names, much less punches. So let's see if I can find what it's called real quick. Here we go. Label me fancy. Oops, am I in there right? Label me fancy. Okay. So I think that's all the products. Um, I'm not using any celebration today. I'm going to keep those for my next video because I do have a few of those, including the host set. So what I took, this is a, oh, I think that's pool party. I'm not good with blues. You guys know I don't like blues. I'm, I don't not like blues. I don't use a lot of blues. I'm more the pinks, purples, burgundies, mango melody, of course. So um, this is a little stretch for me. So I'm just going to show you about the strips. Get out the little baby here. Now, if you wanted to, because laying them down, you could run them through and use the adhesive sheets if you wanted to. But I found with these, I wasn't sure how big of a 
space I wanted between the different layers. So I am using glue dots. And since I'm out of my glue dots and my order hasn't come in yet, I'm using what I have left over for my latest paper pumpkin. That's what I love about paper pumpkin. You always get the glue dots and the dimensionals and you always have some leftover. So it's great, great, great to use in between orders. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's grab my, my on or not? No, okay. So base one and your two twos, of course. And let's put down the coral. And now I have to figure out where did I put, did I set this on top? Oh, I did set it on top of them. All right. And then off to the side here, you can't see it, but I have, of course, my, my blue tape. It says right on it, blue tape. And I'll use this just to keep it down because I'm going to run both through at the same time. So here we have on that flirty flamingo. I'm going to put that over. Make sure I like the way it looks for a border. I'm going to put that down. And let's take this one. And I will have to run through this again for that um, modeled looking background. Now on this one, it's a little bit longer than five and a half. So I'm going to try to make sure, and you can't probably see, but this little dot, I'm going to make sure that you see only cardstock on both ends. And I'm going to tape that down. Put my second one on. And because I don't want anything to stick into the machine, I tend to have the blue tape on the other. Oh, that wasn't good. Did you see how I did that? All right. I tend to have it rolled back on the other so it'll stick to this plate and not the inside of the machine. Okay, so let's run that through. And you know what? I think I told you a few videos ago that you should line up your two edges. That's wrong. You need to stagger them a little, but you got to make sure that both plates are covering all the dye or it won't cut through your dye. So you stagger them a little bit. See how those are a little bit staggered between the twos? All right. So let me put this aside for a sec. Look at that, so gorgeous. So, now, these snowflakes, of course, you wanna keep. You can put them on with glue dots or glue. Um, if you did run them through the adhesive sheet, of course, they'd already have adhesive on the back that you'd peel off. These, you could, if you used uh, your press and seal, you could use those and transfer them to a card. I. I don't tend to do a lot of the press and seal anymore. I find it a little tedious. I know I did a YouTube video on it, oh, near the beginning. But sometimes those extra just are not worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I don't know where my foam pad is, so I'm just kind of, kind of roll over this on my hand because I'll get all those little scritchies out and scritchies is an actual word it's not but um it's a roxy word okay so then we're going to go ahead and i'm going to take this off i'm going to put that down we're going to lay this I'll put it over here so i can actually see it i'm going to put this so it's lined up with a good edge Again, I'm going to fold that back on itself so it doesn't get caught on the side of the machine when it goes through. And I think I moved it a little when I taped it down. All right, let's try this again. There. Much better. Now we'll tape that back on itself. Clouds are starting to get gray again, so trying to move through as fast as I can. Sorry for the camera. I have to learn how to position my camera now that I've gone to my drafting table and not a solid table to figure out how I can have less movement when I run those through. All right, put my blue tape back here on the side. Pull that up. Again, goodbye scritchies. I know it's a mess, but then I just take my um, my other blue tape and I just pick up all the pieces off the floor and off my drafting table. Because yes, I could be uh, proactive and go get my little 
uh, plastic container that has the foam in it, but you know, that would just add three seconds to this video and who wants to do that? Okay, anyway, so let's put those off to the side. So now I have all of my pieces here. So I have one each of those, one each of those. Let me get some of those pieces out of there. Sorry, I love blue tape. I love blue tape. And it's funny, the other day I was at a big box store and I don't know why they had it like clearance. I don't know if it was going to a new size, width or something. So you know I had to buy a few rolls. Okay, so let me go over trying to find where. Yeah. All right, let me grab another piece of cardstock. Let me figure out which color I want this time because apparently I don't have blue. So let me see if I have one, otherwise I'll cut one. Huh. All right. I'm going to cut one. So instead of pool party, I'm going to do balmy blue. I haven't used balmy blue in a while. All right. Yeah, I think that. Oh, no. I used balmy blue the first time. Haha. <laughs> Go figure. I'm just so, so, I mean, after being so organized for the Boy Scout thing all weekend, I am just kind of ready to let loose, maybe go pour myself a cold one. That would be Captain Coke, you all know me. Um, just to celebrate that I got through this weekend and it all goes back to work tomorrow. All right, so I went ahead and scored that and you guys know that I do like to then go in the corner where this lip is just to make sure that it is even. All right. There we go. So here you can use your liquid glue. You can use your glue dots, whatever you want. But you would put, I always put this one down first. And you know what? Here, let me sit down. This time I will use, let me move my Fantastics out of the way so I can get to my glue. Let's go ahead. Sorry. I had to, my... TV was unpausing. All right, so what I'm going to do is let me get out my silicone sheet so we have no glue on the table because it is August, so I have a new stamping sheet. All right, so just a little. I'm not going to squeeze it very much. I'm just kind of running along. I'm not even really putting pressure on. But the glue comes out nicely when you actually touch it to that. All right. So I like putting... Oh, that was smart, wasn't it? Let's put it on a place where I might have just put the glue. So with the glue, it allows you to do that. I want to make sure the snowflakes are all showing through as blue. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to decide do I want it all the way... Oh, no, I'm going to take the bottom one. And let's do this again. Again, you don't need much. A little dab will do you. Okay, did I age myself? Drop me a comment if you realize what that was a slogan for back in the day. And my grandfather used it. My mom's dad used it. We used to always go into their bathroom to see his tube. Okay, so then I kind of go like this. I kind of look to see how much do I want to do and do I want this to overlap? Because sometimes it's kind of fun to overlap. Sometimes I think I'm gonna do just little tiny. That way this can just slide right in the middle. So let me go ahead. And when I was using the glue dots, I was actually putting the glue dots every other. So I go here, 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 here. That way you got a lot of coverage. It's stuck really good, but you didn't overuse your glue dots. Not that you can ever overuse glue dots. Um, especially if you have paper pumpkin. I find that I, 
um, accumulate a lot of them. Um, let me show you. Do I have it here? Yeah, look. Look at all of those that I've accumulated from having extra paper pumpkin. You can see where some have been used, but then you get a lot of them. And sometimes I don't put all the embellishments on, or sometimes I'll use the glue. But it's just nice to have all those extra glue dots for when your roll runs out. Okay. But I digress. So let's go ahead and do the light here. I'm doing a little eye formation so I get the tops and bottom. Just a little bit in each corner. Just gonna go ahead and do this with just a tiniest of layer. I'm gonna scooch it up just a little. And then see, you can put this over and see, you don't see, if you put it too far up, you're gonna see the color through. But if you've done it pretty right, You'll have a little dimension there, and look, you don't even see the colors through. So that's how I'm going to do that one. This is the hardest part to doing the white on white, because I never know if I have enough glue. But remember, it dries clear, so if it does get on your cardstock, no big deal. Give it a sec to dry, and you can just rub it off. Sorry if I was off camera there a little bit, guys. I forget about my little markers I have to show me where my camera uh, frame is. All right, so there's that. Hold on to it for a second. Just let that glue settle in because, you know, it's not laying flat on the cardstock. It's actually coming here and in the middle. Oh, it would also be cute if you put like little rhinestones in the center of those. Hmm, I have to think about that. Okay, so there's that card base. Let's go ahead and Put my glue out of the way. Now we're bringing Holly Jolly. And as you can see, I've only used the one. So funny. So funny. And I'm going to go ahead, grab my Memento ink, grab that stamp. Now this one, I think I put the label on a little crooked. So I'm going to see... What I like to do is, and I'm sure this isn't cleaned off, so I'm going to go like that. See how crooked that is? Wow. I really made that crooked. So what I'm going to do is, see how I have this lined, oops, I'm off camera again. See how I have that lined up there? So what I'm going to do is, I see these two points right here. I'm going to try to do that again. And if not, yeah, it'll be just a tiny bit off. But you know what? I'm going to use it on a punch so it doesn't matter anyway. But I'm going to have to figure that out. I might have to put a line on here to show. So let's see. Oh, yeah, way off. Oh, and look at that. I had a glue dot there. So guess what? Another reason why you take that blue tape and get all those little dots up. So let's go down here then. All right, I really have to, can't remount it at this point, but really have to get a learning curve on it. I might have to make a little guide. Okay. So, nice and less. Oh, look, no, I had a hole there. Ha, huh, because there's holes on there. All right, anyway, so let's go here. We're going to make sure, we're going to make sure that I can have it, that it's even in there. And you're going to do a half hold, remember, so it doesn't move. And bring it up. And then since I want it to pop a little, oh my gosh, I have a, you should see my side table here. I have such a mess on this side table. And because I've moved everything around, I don't know where my black, basic black is. Here it is, basic black cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and punch another one out. And I'm going to cut that in half so that I can have this mounted. Now what I like doing, because I want to pop it up so there's a little height, 
but I, my trick is I like, and again, leftovers from a paper pumpkin, gotta love it. I like putting my dimensionals here. And I know, yes, yeah, so I take my, take your paper tools right over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over. What I like to do on this one is, where this point is, I like it to go right where, instead of having it mirrored, I have the points here go into that empty spot. So let me show you what I mean. See how, oh, see how that point is pointing into that negative part. And that's how I like to line it up on this one. So there, here I have my point and my point pressed down. And then we're gonna go ahead and tape that down with the Stampin' Seal, put a little ribbon on or maybe some rhinestones, and there you have it. A fun card using new dies from the August to December mini catalog. Thanks guys for stopping by. Sorry so late. You know how the weekends get away from you, but I hope you had a great weekend and I hope you have a fabulous week. Take care, talk to you later. Thanks, bye.